Hi there, it's Chris here from Techno Fire Networks. I'm making this video in order to show us why Telnet is no longer used with a Wireshark capture. So we, as you're already aware, in one of my previous videos about the configuration of Telnet and SSH, that SSH and Telnet, they are both used for remote management of our network devices, but Telnet is no longer used because Telnet is not secure. E -e the, the the connection the remote connection to our network device with, with telnet is not secure it's unencrypted but with ssh ssh is encrypted so i'm gonna be establishing a remote connection with a terminal emulator program that's body and then i'm gonna ssh into this the ip address is 192.168 that's 81.245 and that is on TP, TCP port 22 so I'm gonna say enter so it's gonna request me for my username so and that's Chris and then my password enter that so I'm into this device now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be running a Wireshark capture I'm supposed to do that actually so I'm gonna start the capture now so I'm just gonna wait okay so we are good we are good so what I'm gonna do simultaneously I'm gonna establish another T another telnet session from my host computer CLI so that's telnet and one I two dot one six eight that's eighty one that two four five so okay i think i know what the problem is i think telnet is blocked at the moment on the vty line so i'm just gonna say show run pipe section vty so yeah it says transport input ssh so i'm gonna put the link of the configuration video in the description box of this video so that we can see how to configure SSH and Telnet. So I'm just going to do conf T and allow SSH, remote connection via SSH. So I'm going to go to the VTY line. I'm going to say line VTY 0 to 4. Then I'm just going to say transport input. I'm going to say SSH and then Telnet. So it's going to permit those two protocols. So I'm going to say do right to save our configuration. And then I'm going to, I'm going to control Z. I'm going to look at the, yeah. I'm going to, okay. So that's fine. So I'm just going to minimize this. And then I go back to the CLI of my host PC. And then I Telnet again. Telnet 192.168.81.245 So it's asking for the username now so that's port 23 is open now so I'm gonna use James and then the password is class and then the enable password so that will be okay Cisco so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna run a few commands and then we'll, we'll filter the telnet traffic and see the output of it so i'm just gonna say show run pipe section vty so yeah let's say show ip interface brief okay so yeah that should be enough is just to demonstrate why telnet is no longer used why it's not safe to use telnet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna filter for the ssh traffic and then i'm gonna select this right click and say follow tcp stream as we can see our all the commands we've entered during our ssh section they are all encrypted we cannot make any sense of this so this is all encrypted so i'm gonna filter the telnet traffic and then 
do the same thing tell net so I'm gonna open this right click say follow TCP stream so as we can see now so during our initial you know connection we enter the username James so and the password was class and then the enable password and that was Cisco and that's the show run command that we run you know during our remote session you know I did show run section VTY and that was the output everything is in plain text but with SSH we can see I mean everything was in, I mean everything is encrypted so because with this you can have someone who is running Wireshark within the network who wants to just do something silly and then it captures the username and the password of this person the login credentials and then makes you know like changes in our <laughs> device you know so this is the reason why we don't use telnet for remote connection anymore and this is the reason why we use ssh so if you find value in this video so give it thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel so we're gonna see you in our next video okay bye for now